According to state-run media outlets, Iran is considering plans to procure a fleet of Russian-made Su-35 fighter jets. On Sunday, Iran's Air Force Chief Hamid Vahedi told Borna News Agency that the purchase of the Russian platform is being weighed by the Air Force. This news comes one week after Moscow received its first shipment of Iranian-made drones, the latest indication of the two rogue states strengthening military relationship. Iran's potential purchase of the Su-35 flank re-airframe would benefit both the regime and the Kremlin, as the Iranian Air Force currently flies extremely outdated fighters, and Moscow has struggled to export the flanker in the past. An overview of the Iranian-Russian ties Although Moscow's and Tehran's defense relationship dates back to the 1979 Islamic Revolution, Iran really evolved into a profitable client state for Russia a decade later. Following the death of Tehran's anti-Soviet supreme leader Ruhollah Khomeini, Iran's new leadership prioritized acquiring cutting-edge military equipment from North Korea, China, and Russia. According to a New York Times report published in the early 1990s, Iran spent or committed $3.2 billion on arms in 1988 and 1989, primarily to the former Soviet Union for MiG fighters and tanks. Today, these dated Russian arms make up some of Iran's most advanced military equipment. The Iranian-Russian partnership was further cemented this year by the country's shared animosity toward Western hegemony and similar positions within the international community. After the Kremlin launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February, the West largely isolated Moscow, disrupting its arms deliveries and cutting it off economically via sanctions. Iran has been in a parallel situation following the fallout from the 2015 Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action JCPOA. Moscow and Tehran have turned to each other to fulfill their respective defensive and military needs. In the meantime, first, Russia procures Iranian drones. Over the summer, the White House first announced that it had photographic evidence depicting a Russian delegation visiting Iran's Kashan airfield on two occasions. The images depict the Russian delegation along with a display of Iran's Shahid-129 and Shahid-191 drones. Although Iran initially rejected claims that it would be providing Moscow with drones to aid its war efforts in Ukraine, the Defense Department has confirmed that Russia has already received multiple shipments. Additionally, U.S. officials also revealed that Russian officials conducted training in Iran as part of the agreement for UAV transfers from Iran to Russia, according to CNN. The Washington Post reported that the initial shipment included two models of Shahid drones, the Shahid-129 and Shahid-191, as well as among Iran's most sophisticated military drones, designed for manned aerial vehicles, are considered to be among Iran's most sophisticated military drones, designed for both strike and surveillance purposes. Combined, the three drones possess Su-35 capabilities that could advance Russia's offensive efforts in Ukraine, and in return Iran could get Su-35s. Military analysts and industry experts have speculated that an incoming shipment of Su-35 flank re-airframes would be imminent following the news of the drone transfers. Airframes was in the 1990s when it acquired and Su-24 strike fighter unique Swo MiG-29 squadrons from the Soviet Union. Some reports speculate that Iran could receive an order of Su-35s very quickly, since roughly two dozen airframes built for Egypt may not come to fruition due to Western pressure. The Su-35 was designed for export, but Moscow has struggled to sell the airframes due to various factors. In addition to Western pressure on Egypt and other countries to not purchase the model, the cheaper and Su-35 seem much equally capable Su so September 23, 2022 has become the flankery's greatest competition. Iran's acquisition of Su-35s would greatly improve its Air Force current stockpile of airframes. The trade drones for jets would also benefit the increasingly warm military relationship between Moscow and Tehran. 
So that's it for today. If you like this video, then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.